Hello, everyone. So, this is one thing I don't understand about bullies. If you have to deal with ghetto, narcissistic bullies, or, um, you know, they'll start mess with you or start trouble with you, and they have other narcissistic abusers that would be like in so-called positions of authority, like mental health counselor, police, court judge, or whoever, you know, parents, or any family members, um, teachers at school, church, or whatever, if they, they tell you don't let people mess over you. They tell you, you know, they tell you don't let people mess over you and they tell you that you're easy prey or um, that you're vulnerable, you're easy target, you're gullible. And they will victim blame and tell you that you, um, you know, put yourself in a position and allow yourself to be taken advantage of, or they'll say that you open yourself up to be bullied. But they don't tell you what they perceive that you're doing wrong. You, you know, if they want to fault and blame the victim and say that you need to stop letting people mess over you, and that you need to learn how to fight back. You need to learn how to stand up for yourself. Or you need to learn how to start putting people in their place. But then, when you do try to stand up and fight back, they will try to tell you that you were wrong for getting on their level and engaging with them that you were wrong for engaging with them and getting on their level. It's like, you feel like damned if you do, damned if you don't. So, I mean, if you try to stand up for yourself on the internet or online, um, the one who started it and the one who's bullying you, their account is invincible. It's like you'd be blocked from even being, like you, it's like you block or don't even get the opportunity to report what they're doing to you. Or the social people who own social media, they want to, like TikTok will lie and say that the person harassing you committed no violation when they have blatant, clearly breaking the rules. But if you expose what they did or if you fight back, or if you say that, look what this person said to me, and then, oh, look what this person did to me. And then they will still falsely report your account for breaking the, breaking the rules. When you, I'm like, no, no, I'm not telling this person that. I'm saying this is what's done to me. They are making these false allegations and lies about me. Look at my previous TikTok video right before this one. So they're saying the hate stuff to me. And then when I put it up, they will falsely report it, falsely report me for the harassment. They don't want to be exposed. So, I mean, for exposing them harassing me. Just like when you be covertly harassed with a gang stalking in your town or in your neighborhood, um, you get harassed and bullied and gang stalked when it's clear, obvious gang stalking. And then the fakes want to say ignore and don't engage. But some of the real ones will encourage you to go ahead and stand up and fight back. And so then, um, you know, on YouTube, it's more like the same thing. And on Twitter, it would be, the, or any other social media, it's the same thing, where the bullies, even their fake throwaway accounts, it's like as if they're invincible. Nothing happens to them. 
and then they get pray, fake praise and thumbs up, likes, comment, share, subscribers. While they feel like I don't deserve any likes, comment, shares, or subscribers, or followers, or anything. They want to make sure it's to the point where I have nobody following me. But you say that I'm so disgusting and annoying and everything, but you've been stalking me for four or five years and stuff. So, the fake TI perks, when you get into an altercation with them, they are worse than the regular perks. Or they come harder than the regular perks, and they make you feel worse than what the regular perks do. If you're younger than me, and you're an abusive, narcissistic, fake Christian T.I. perk that pretend to be all fake religious and fake holy, fake Christian, and telling me don't curse, and stuff like that, but then the moment we get into an argument, you know, we might not say anything, or I don't mention your name for eight months, and then afterwards just randomly I get a new place finally off the streets and you're flooding my um, my videos with harassing comments with fake throwaway accounts you're younger than me and then um, you start with me and and then if I um, strike back or defend myself then you want to say keep my name out your mouth or you, I mean, and you're a man trying to one up a female. That's disgusting. And then trying to harass, bully, and try to discredit somebody. When, if you cry and complain about yourself being targeted, but then when it comes to me, um, and then they want to be like, oh yeah, even if you don't mention my name, I know, you're, I know it's me you're talking about. But you sitting there, you know, harassing me unprovoked for no reason. For no reason, I haven't even bothered you. I haven't said anything to you or about you. And um, they have some regular perps who leave you alone for like almost a year, and then come back ten times worse with the bullying, the cyber bullying, the online bullying and harassment. And they come back ten times harder than what they originally were. Like, just very vicious. Like, the, like a bunch of wild dogs suffering rabies and, you know, attacking a buffalo with an abscess. Like that video that I, that I, um, that I try to share. On YouTube, I try to share it. So, um, and then the, the online gang stalkers, they can make these hate comments, these threat comments. Um, troll comments, extremely sexually perverted, and um, y'all want to police and control my behavior while y'all out of control. But how do you start messing with somebody or start tr start bullying and picking on somebody unprovoked for no reason, and then you don't even harass me yourself? You get a whole fake army, a whole fake cult gang army of flying monkeys to come and um, a whole pack of wolves to come and devour and harass me and then you're a man doing this to a woman and a woman that's older than you and then you brag about ha 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 yeah Candy knows not to mess with me ever again Candy knows not to mess with me so I mean you, you can be a man that's um, 25 years old and I'm 39, and you know, I'm sitting here getting harassment from you. I, I'm almost old enough, I could be your mother. I'm about to be 40 very soon. And then you run around talking about she's 34, years, I mean, she's, you know, 39 years old and act like she's four. But you're 23, 24, and abusive, narcissistic, controlling, and disrespectful. And think that sexual perversion and you know, the sexually perverse and promiscuous lifestyle that you live makes you more mature. You, I mean, you abusive, narcissistic, and self-righteous and act like you delusionally believe that you're mature and normal with common sense. When you ain't, you mentally, I mean, you ain't mentally God at all. Trying to control and fix and rearrange, you know, somebody.